A Valentine's treat that'll lock your sweetie off her feet next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're here at Ring Brothers Marketplace in South Dennis because we've heard that Chef Don has something that can save Valentine's Day. Something delicious to get everybody in the mood for love. So Don, what sweet secret do you have for us today? <laughs> uh, truffle filled chocolate dipped strawberries. Any regular person can make this and wow their Valentine's sweetie? Absolutely. This is geared towards someone that knows nothing about cooking that wants to impress the person he loves. When I designed these, I thought, you know, chocolate dipped strawberries are nice, they got all the nice designs and everything, but, but what if we can make them better? You know, they're like the bionic man of, of chocolate dipped strawberries. They're bigger, better, faster. This is simple, 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 boys and girls. We're going to take strawberries. We're going to dip them in chocolate. We're going to fill them with a truffle filling, and then we're going to make them look really, really pretty so that when you give these to her, you are going to knock her socks off. So the first thing we need to do is to make our ganache. Okay, now ganache is the truffle filling, and there's a couple different types of ganache, but we're gonna use the truffle filling type. So in here I have eight ounces of chocolate. Into that we are going to boil, or, or, or we're gonna get this cream really hot. It's heavy cream, which is about a little more than a half a cup, and two tablespoons of butter. We're going to bring this up to a boil, Okay, we take the boiling cream, we put it into the chocolate. That is about the most difficult thing here. So from here, all you do is whisk it. Okay, whisk it around, the chocolate will melt, and it will make a lovely filling. So when you're done, it will look like that. That goes into the refrigerator for half hour, 45 minutes. And when you're done, you have truffle filling. We're gonna learn from my mistakes. Use a good quality chocolate when you are dipping strawberries, okay? The filling, I used the semi-sweet chocolate morsels from Hershey's, those will be fine. For the dipping, it has to be really nice and smooth and glossy like this, okay? Should be very liquidy, okay, like that. To prepare our strawberries, buy some strawberries. Find the nicest looking ones. You'll see I've got some really pretty looking strawberries. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom so that it can stand up straight. No slouching. This is the only specialty tool that you'll need and this is called a Parisian scoop. And all you do is scoop out the center. When you melt your chocolate, you're going to use a double boiler. All this is, is a pot with some water in it and a bowl with chocolate in it. The biggest thing you have to, th that you want to realize is you do not want the water to touch the bottom of the bowl. So we need to use our fork, a little bit of uh, fuzz on there. We're going to take it, we're going to dip in. Okay, pretty much as far down as we can go. We will let it drip off a little bit and then right down onto our thing. Try to, to drain these as much as possible. You don't want to have a huge glop of chocolate on the bottom. I have over here white chocolate, okay? And a fork. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this chocolate, get some on my fork, Okay, and I want you to look at what my fingers are doing. I'm just going back and forth really quick. All right, so when you do this, over the strawberries, you'll get these really pretty streaky, streaky lines. Now it's time to stuff these puppies. Chef Don dons some gloves so the chocolate doesn't melt all over his hands. He rolls the truffle filling into little balls and slam dunk. In they go to the strawberries.
Now let's disguise what we've done. They won't see the ganache filling, because here comes some whipped cream. <sighs> and to make it extra special, Don shaves some beautiful chocolate. Look at that. Shave, shave, shave with a sharp knife down the flat side there. And then he puts it on the whipped cream. Are you kidding me? Love will bloom. Don, in the epic history of Sweets for the Sweet, I believe you have carved a new chocolate niche. It's beautiful. It really is. It really is. And she will love you for this because you took the time to make something for her. You didn't go out and buy the chocolates. You made the chocolates. Cake cast.